Hello, this is Greg Allison from Green Greg's Garden and Worm Farm coming to you today from my garden spot here and uh, next to my greenhouse, my aquaponics greenhouse. Today we're going to have another series about winter foraging. It is March the 16th, which means it's still winter, although we're beginning to show some spring type signs here. Uh, it's still going to get down to lower 30s tonight. Uh, a little bit chilly today. Uh, we're just having the sunset. Been a really nice day today. And I'm about to start working this garden, so you're going to see a lot of garden work here. But today our topic is going to be this stuff right here. This is purple dead nettle. Well, let me pick one to show you exactly what I'm talking about. I'm going to pick them way down the stem because I'm going to show you something. This stem, this is in the mint, fam in the mint family. And... Uh, it's got a little bit of a hairy leaf to it. And if you notice the stem, I don't know if you can tell, the stem is kind of squarish. So let me give a little disclaimer here. Uh, don't ever eat anything unless you know exactly what it is, unless you're absolutely sure without consulting with a local expert. Get a botanist, a master gardener, herbalist, somebody that really knows what it is. But this is purple dead nettle. Notice how the leaves are turning kind of purple. So you may say, Greg, why would I want to eat something called dead? Dead nettle, what is that? Is that poison? Is that, uh, well, obviously, guys, it's not dead. <laughs> it's not dead, and it's not poison, but that is what we call it, purple dead nettle. Why is it called dead nettle? Because there is a uh, plant called stinging nettle, and the there's little spikes on stinging nettle that actually do sting. But it suggested that plant is the most nutritious plant in the world. Go figure that. you got to get past the needles to get to the nutrition. There are people out there that eat that and have videos on how you get rid of those needles. I don't have that around here. So we're not covering that today. But the purple dead nettle is edible. This is in the mint family. Mint has a characteristic that uh, leaves are opposite of each other typically, although you can't really tell it in this one. Um, Typically, each row, they're, 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 they're spread like that. They clock. They clock. Pardon me. But but, uh, uh, but in any event, uh, and th these leaves are kind of heart-shaped. And notice as the plants start getting a little bit older, they get kind of purplish on top. The flowers are a lavender color. And uh, every part of the dead nettle plant is edible. Flowers, the leaves... Never bit of it. It's rather good. It's got just a, a hint of mint. A little soil, dirt type taste maybe. But not too bad. Not as bad as a beet. The beet tastes like dirt to me. Not even because they're nutritious. Mmm. Never parts that one. If you see me funk, uh, drop a number and then a funky chicken, you go, oh no, I'm not going to watch Greg no more. No, nah, just kidding. This is good food. The funny thing is, these are my onion beds here. Man, your beds are full of weeds. Well, maybe that's true. But everything in these beds is edible. Just about it. Talk about winter foraging. I've got clover here. You can eat clover. Most of it. Let's cover that with I'm going to clean these beds out so these onions will grow better. Because I can sell the onions. But you may remember I've done a session on chickweed. This chickweed grows like crazy. The flowers are looking a little better than my previous session that I've done. So I'm going to show the chickweed again. Like I mentioned before, it does have a little oxalic acid in it. But you have to eat a good bit for that to bother you. Mmm. Wow. What a buffet right here. Of all my greens. Right here. In the garden. Just eating these weeds out of my garden. You know, what you might call weeds. Now. Tell you a bit more about this. Uh, purple dead nettle. Let me get out of the light here. There's a little light down here if I come in the right place. On the trees. The purple dead nettle is a uh, 
It does have some medicinal properties. I'm not a doctor. Go to the doctor get medical advice. Not me. That's another disclaimer. But it said that uh, you can make a poultice out of these leaves, crush them up, and apply them to cuts and scrapes and burns. It's supposed to help soothe that. Does not work as good as plantain, like long leaf temp, temp, uh, plantain, but that's not available right now. This stuff is. This stuff is usually seen in our region here, late winter, early spring, and late fall. This grows in all the states except for Alaska and in 40 different countries. It has uh, iron, other trace minerals, and a lot of vitamins in it. So it's a very nutritious, good for your plant. Now if you notice, I'm not afraid of eating them. So, I got a whole bed of food here. But people won't buy dead nettle. They're not going to buy chickweed. But uh, I'm happy and blessed that that's here. And I'm going to clear all this stuff out of these beds just so the onions will grow better in the not too distant future. And I'm going to be planting more onions. And I'm going to plant, plant this bed out, all these beds, and get this garden back in shape this year. And you're going to get to see that. As you may remember, I just shot a video on how to eat from pine trees. And I did cover the uh, chickweed. Here we got a curly dock here. That's edible. And I'll do maybe a, some series of focus on that. There's plenty of stuff around here the person can eat. So that's the good news. You see uh, my garlic is still doing good over there, that elephant garlic. I called it giant garlic the other day. It's really elephant garlic, which is actually a leek. And uh, so we're coming to spring. I'm going to do a lot more gardening, microgreens, and other videos to show you how you can survive and thrive in the worst of times. I know I just put a video out about the sun cooking us and kicking us and baking us. But we just need to be aware of the kind of things that may come at us so that we can prepare. You need to be aware so you can prepare and be prepared, not scared. I want to survive and thrive. That's my goals. So, many more videos to come. So please, if you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe and bang the update notification bell. And check make sure YouTube has not unsubscribed you or unclicked the bell. They do that from time to time. And don't know why, it's just something they do, some of their algorithms. Uh, I find sometimes they unsubscribe me or unclick me from some of my favorite channels. It's like, really? But anyway, so much more to come. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.